G'day, uh, Mick here from CC Well Solutions. Uh, I'm here today at uh, Well Connect in Brisbane, uh, one of my major distributors down here. And we're going to have a look at the uh, one of the newer machines on the CEA range, which is the, uh, the Q-Box. And this particular model has also got the Pulse version in it. So um, a few of the features in the machine are that it's, uh, it's a very robust machine. Uh, it's been built to be aimed at that market of the uh, the workshop that does a bit of everything from aluminium, stainless, mild steel welding. Um, this particular model is water cool, but it's also available in a, in a non water cool version. Uh, the cabinets are the same size, but the water cooler is actually built into the bottom of the machine. So, uh, here today with Chris, and uh, Chris has probably got a few questions to fire at me because it's, uh, it's really only the first time he's had a look at this machine. So, let's run through it, Chris. Yeah, Mick, I requested this machine off you because um, a lot of our competitors are bringing out machines similar to this because engineering workshops are being versatile these days. They want to mix, stick, TIG off the one machine um, and they need the power to, for gouging. Um, so, you know, bucket builders down to aluminium jobs, they've got one machine that can do everything. So, you know, they invest in a good quality machine like CEA and you know they can use it for anything. So yeah, well they also go up to a 500 amp, so if you do need that extra duty cycle or the extra power there, it's available. So yeah, I did have a look at, the first thing I looked at was the duty cycle. So 60% yeah. on this is 400 amps, which is pretty impressive. Yeah. And 350 at 100, so you know, you're doing some pretty serious welding if you're welding a 350 amp at 100 percent duty cycle. Absolutely, absolutely. So it should be able to handle whatever we throw at it mate, but I'm um, pretty keen to get one out there and um, give it a crack. Yeah, look another thing you'll notice on this is the uh, the layout on the control panel. You'll see that there's there's actually no switches or anything to worry about down on the power source. Everything is controlled from the wire feeder and the layout of the panel is uh, very similar to the other machines that we've got in the range. So. It, it makes it easy to navigate through for for your, for your guys out there in the workshop as well as ourselves that where we need to show people how the machine works. It's, you don't have to reinvent the wheel each time. Yep. Basic layout is, is, is all the same. So we can do, uh, this particular model's got pulse in it. You can get a unit that's a, a non-pulse machine as well. Uh, but this has single pulse. Again, it makes it very versatile for that shop that's maybe not doing pulse all the time but has that ability if they want to do it it's a yeah. flick of a switch all synergic programmed so it's a, again a matter of looking inside the, the cabinet here selecting the process for the material type that you're using uh, load that in the machine and then basically it's one control for the operator to, to worry about which is your plate thickness or amps if he's working in the amps or the wire feed speed so yeah uh, yeah yeah very uh, they've, they've gone to a lot of a lot of trouble with with these machines to make them, uh, even though they're, they're very high tech, they've gone to they've gone to a lot of trouble in their in their design system there to make it easy for guys to yeah uh, to set the machine up and well with it. So well, that's ninety percent of it these days. You know, you can have all the features in the world, but if you don't know how to use them, they're useless to you. So I Ab noticed that absolutely this panel is exactly the same as the Trio Star single phase machines. Which True carries through the whole range. Yep. So I can pick this machine up straight away and I knew basically every feature it's got. Absolutely. Just through that simplicity. Yeah, so. and look, look, these days it's uh, getting skilled labour is, is, is your hardest part in, in a lot of these businesses there. And what you don't need is a machine in there that only one person knows how to operate. Yep. So uh, again, the simple features on there and getting into to operate the machine, uh, that's, that's the whole design feature with these machines to have it so anybody can operate it you don't have to be that one person one person leaves you uh, you're sort of struggling there nobody can use the machine so yeah yeah, yeah. yeah that's, you that's the idea with them five minute rundown we're away yeah absolutely yep. so look babe just to show you here we'll just spin this around and uh, give you a look at the uh, the drive roll system in it again it's a standard feature it's same in, in all of their machines have got the same drive system so you're not carrying all these different drive rolls and spares if you've got a few different machines in the shop there. Yep. Uh, good compact design, no tooling required to change the drive rollers, just uh, thumb wheels, undo them. Uh, and 
We've also got, it's a true four drive roll system where we've got the top and bottom rollers are cogged in a mesh so that they, you've got a true four drive system there feeding. So one of the best systems I've come across there, particularly when you're, when you're running difficult to run wires like aluminium or flux cord wires. So uh, uh, if your wire feeder doesn't feed the wire correctly, Generally, that's when you get that. Most of our trouble we have is, is wire feed problems. Customers haven't got the right setup. So, yeah. get the setup right, mm -hmm. you've eliminated all those problems to start with. That is 90% of the issues we see. Yeah. Yep. And what about these stickers on the side, Mick? Okay. I know it's got a few special programs there. Right, yeah. So, uh, with this, this machine, as I said, it's a. Uh, uh, very high tech in what its abilities are. So we've got a number of programs in here that are, are fairly new. Uh, Vision Arc is a, is a software that CEA has developed there which allows you to get a perfect start every time you pull the trigger on the machine and it touches the job, you'll get an arc. You won't get that stubbing effect happening. Uh, and when you finish the weld, it electronically cuts the ball off the end of the wire. So you've got a point to start with, it's a good contact. Uh, so that's a very important feature. Yep. Then we've got other software programs there, uh, Vision Cold. Vision Cold is for doing uh, very thin materials or materials that have got large gaps in them. Uh, it allows you to, to do that with a very controlled process where you're not burning through the job. Yep. Uh, we've got Vision Ultra Speed. Ultra Speed's very handy for high production applications. Uh, these machines are also suitable for putting onto robotics and automation. So, yeah, right. uh, which is an area where the ultra speeds used quite frequently, you can speed up the whole process. You look at about 20% increase in, in to a normal MIG process. Yep. Uh, then the next one we've got down here is Vision Power. Yeah, Vision Power is designed for may, more for, for thicker sections of material where you, in a one pass, you want to get a, a high penetration into the job there. So. Uh, Again, it's 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 a feature in there. Rather than having to do a lot of preparation on the on yeah. the joint, you can get away with uh, uh, a minimum pre preparation with a high penetration well, a high quality well. So. Yeah, yeah. Alrighty, Mick, mate. Um, can you run us through on how to set this thing up and how simple it is? Yeah, absolutely. So the first thing that we want to do is look inside of the door here on the on the unit to see what size wire that we're running and uh, in this particular instance we're going to say it's 1.2 steel wire yep and if we look down through the selection here we'll see that all the programming for 1.2 uh, steel will be 013 okay so first of all if we uh, we just go into the uh, the program button and we can bring up 013 on here first Yep, so that's standard MIG right. mode, is it? So, and then we've got, yeah, that's your standard MIG mode. Uh, we can either go into the cold weld process, but again, set that on 013 if we were going to do cold welding. Yep. Uh, if we want to do the vision power, again, we need to have that corresponding number in there. Yeah, 013. Yep. For vision power. Uh, ultra speed. Again, we need to tell the machine what size wire we want to run with this program. So we're going to keep using the 1.2 as an example. Uh, as long as we've got 013 in there, it'll be it'll know that it's on the right selection. So we we're going to looking for something we want a high speed welding to go. We're on ultra speed 013. We've told the machine we've got 1.2 wire in there. It's ready to go. Uh, yeah, right. All we need to do then is hit the program button, get out of there. We're yep. in ultra speed. Then we've got the same selection as we do on all the other machines is to what, what do we want our output power to be, how thick is the material we're welding, or what amperage do we know we want to run this procedure at, and uh, it's basically all the computer will do the rest of it with marrying up those programs for you. So you're ready to go, uh, wire feed speed if, you, if that's what your reference is going to be. Yep. Um, but basically, uh, yeah, it, it's as simplistic to, as the rest of the machines to set up. That's easy enough, isn't it? It is, absolutely. Perfect. We've got some special programs in this machine, uh, which we're going to run at the moment. We're going to try the ultra speed program. We're running 1.2 steel wire. Uh, to set it up, uh, our program number is 013 for 1.2 solid wire, and we're going to USP for ultra speed. Uh, once we've set that there, we've told the machine what the process we want to do. 
Then all we've got a, a choice of plate thickness, uh, amps, or wire feed speed. Um, we'll just run with the plate thickness for now. So we've got some four mil. We're going to give it a burl on, and we've got our um, our top gun electrical welder here today. Chris is going to give it a run. You're a shot, eh? Yep. Not bad for an electrician. <laughs>